Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so over the moon about today's video. So today I am bringing you a video on our first 2024 Winnebago Navion 24D. And as you can see with my little nightlight up here, I've got some notes for you about the changes because of course this is the first time we're going to be offering to you the four cylinder chassis over the six. I also wanted to point out that this cool little nightlight up here is pretty nifty because it goes blue. So if you've got any littles that are camping with you, you don't necessarily need to use that reading light. You can just use that little blue light there. Let them feel comfortable at night. There's also some vents up here. And then as you can see, I've got the window covered here, but over here on the other side, you can see this cute little Winnebago insignia and this open vented window. This is a great place for your littles, plenty of room. And then above me, we have a very nice, fantastic fan with a rain sensor. So this is gonna be a nice ventilated area, great place for your littles. Um, but as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and take her on back and we'll go from there. So this is one of our best floor plans. This Navion 24D has the booth dinette uh, that makes for a really nice additional sleeping area as well as a great place for everyone to get together and gather around the table so they can play cards video games whatever it might uh, might be uh, because of course not only do you have this great little booth but you also have a nice centrally located television in your kitchen and a ton of living space here in this 24d so one of the best features of this coach is going to be the fact that we have this very nice rear bath setup. So as you can see here, uh, one of the things that's really lacking in a lot of RVs is room in the shower. Here you have a ton of room in the shower. And if you're into any of those outdoor water sports where you're using wetsuits, or maybe even if you're going to go snowmobiling or anything that you have that's got something long to hang, you've got this long hanging rod here in the bathroom. You also have a really, really cool shower curtain, uh, which just closes it open. So it's out of sight, out of mind whenever you're not using it, but very easy to deploy. Another one of my favorite features, of course, is the rope hook, which is right here. And then as you can see, this is where we're gonna have our bed control. So you do have a Murphy bed on this unit. I will deploy that in just a moment, but before we do, let's just talk about this rear view window. This is such a nice feature. Uh, one of the best things about going to a campsite, especially if you're like on a coastal campsite, uh, for instance, we were just in San Alejo, this would have been so nice to back up to that ocean and be able to look out the window. Here you have a great medicine cabinet. Also, as you'll look underneath, if you lift this up and remove this placard, you could actually put a tissue box upside down and have a, dis a tissue dispenser. Tons of room for all of your amenities. And then on top of that, take a look at all of this additional storage you have in here. So a ton of storage up top and down below, you'll see these are the little risers that we have for the seats. So when you turn the chairs around in the uh, galley, you have a, a more equal level of height if you are using those rear facing captain's chairs. Now also, you'll see the flying W throughout this coach, but just to the right of this flying W, you'll see the Truma Aquago, uh, the mon I'm sorry, monitor control panel. This is so that you can have your tankless hot water. So a great feature there, very easy to turn on your water pump, very nice stainless steel sink. Of course, we've got great faucets. Um, everything on this Navion has really been uh, tested for over the duration of years and gotten better and better. And one of the nicest features of this coach is it's got such a cool modern feel to it. It's also very, very utilitarian. Uh, as you can see here, you can very easily reach your toilet paper dispenser. And then we also have another fan up here in this, in this bathroom. And if you're looking for some privacy, very easy open and close pocket door. Now, just to the left of this pocket door, we have some great storage. So for those of you that have been out in the world camping, you know how nice it is to be able to get all the way to the back of your cabinet. So this is just a great feature that you have through Winnebago. You've got all these pull to release pocket doors, some nice shelving up top. And then also down here, you'll see we have a ton more storage and then very easy access to our uh, breaker box and our fuses and very easy access here to our winterization station. So this coach is currently winterized. When you're not having it winterized, there's a nice, easy to install little winterization cover. 
um, but this is just a very easy to store coach for those of you that live in those colder climates. And keep in mind, just because your coach isn't uh, or is winterized doesn't mean you can't take it out and go camping. Of course you can. Uh, this is a great feature of this RV. Very, very comfortable. You might not be using the toilet per se, but you can still go up to those KOAs that have those you know, year round bathrooms. And this is a great place to stay nice and toasty. We've got really great uh, heat system on this coach. Um, so the furnace and the air conditioning, both of those things make for a very comfortable and warm environment. And then on top of it, you have so much sleeping in this coach. So if you wanna get up, get first chair, spend the night in the loft or in the lodge without spending the night in the lodge very easily you could have definitely at least four people if not six in this rv now one of the best things about this bed is first and foremost you do not need a topper it is so comfortable and then on top of that there's all of this great storage up here so if you're like me i'm a big fan of bins i could keep all of the stuff that i need all my underwear, socks, t-shirts rolled up in nice little bins up and out of the way stored so that when I'm camping, I've got access to them. But when I'm on the road, they're tucked away and I'm using that other space for food, stuffs and things along those lines. Uh, of course, again, we have these great night lights. So if you're afraid of the dark, you can also use that little blue light. And we also have a really nice opening screened window right next to the headboard. So you've got plenty of fresh air. And then of course, you've got these great MCD shades. So you've got that privacy that you're looking for when you're camping. And then if you look, I know this sounds silly, but on either side of these, these small nightstands are just the right size for your iPhone or your Samsung. There's two uh, 110 outlets right down here below. And then also you have two USB ports on either side. Let me see if I can open that up for you, Jody. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, they're there, I promise. Great feature because of course, nowadays, if we need to get up at a particular time of the day, we're gonna be doing that with our phones. So just important to be able to have those nice and close by. And then as you can see, it's very easy to stow this bed. And one of the things that I hope that you'll appreciate is the fact you don't need to remove these cushions. Now I did go ahead and detach them. As you can see, they have these little latches so they can actually just stay in place when they're underneath. But if you'd like to remove them, you can do that. And if you were to do that, as you can see here, without actually opening your slide, you would still have plenty of room to sleep on this couch. So for those of you that are concerned that maybe uh, you might get stuck at, you know, at a Walmart or somewhere on the in-between drive, if you're doing you know, maybe a 16 or 17 hour drive and you wanna break it into two parts, very nice that you can actually just take those cushions off and have a plenty of sleeping room here. And then of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can convert this area into a bed as well. So very easily, um, as much as you would have to put this full wall slide out, as you can see, this slide goes all the way from the back of the coach, all the way forward to the front. So if you were to put this, if you were not able to put this full wall slide out, you could still very easily sleep two people uh, down on the floor and then maybe another one or two up top. So you wouldn't have to um, stop and deploy your slides. And of course, the reason that's important is there are certain places where you might be just stopping for a few hours, catching a little shut eye, and you're not trying to draw attention to the fact that you're sleeping in your RV. Um, now also, great place to lounge, right? So check this out. I love the fact that I can use this table here. I also have another table that's in the back closet that I can put either here or over here in front of this bed. So I could have so many people hanging out having their burgers inside. As you know, anytime you ever are about to barbecue in the Rocky Mountains, about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, that is the cue for God to send in those big rain showers. So if you all have to come in and huddle and have dinner inside, there's so many places to sit and eat in this coach. Um, but if you're just sitting in at night and you wanna just put your feet up, relax, maybe play a game of cribbage, watch some television. I love this extendable aspect of this seat. This is giving you a chaise lounge effect, but plenty of seating around this coach. Now, please do note, it's important to talk about the capacities for seat belts. This coach has four seat belts, not five. The only five seat belt coach that we make in the Navion line is gonna be the 24J. Uh, so if you're looking for extra seat belts, that's gonna be a corner bed model. And it is a very great opportunity for anybody who's got you know, three kids and not two. But if you've got a family of four, this is by far our most popular selling model. 
as I mentioned, there's so much storage up above here. And then if you look at this far left hand cabinet, you'll see a curtain. And what that curtain does is actually has these little anchor points that are up here in the ceiling. So it anchors here and it anchors here and it anchors here and then back here and then again. So this actually gives you a really nice level of privacy. So if you've got a little that's taking a nap in the afternoon perhaps, or maybe you just wanna get a little shut eye yourself and take a siesta, you can go ahead and wall your uh, partition off and still allow everybody else to be up here, you know, making you lunch because while you take a siesta, someone should definitely be making you lunch. Speaking of making me a sandwich, check this out, 10 cubic feet. I'll tell you, one of the best things about a Winnebago Navion is the amount of refrigerator space. So I spent my first seven years RVing on a Sprinter chassis in a band. The best thing about a bigger unit for me was the increased size of the restroom and then also the refrigerator space. So this is such a luxurious amount of fridge space. I can make one of those little ones work, but man, oh man, I could go out for a week, two weeks in this coach easily. Um, you know, I don't keep our drinks in our, in our RV. We always keep our drinks in a cooler, but that gives you so much room for perishable items like lettuce and tomatoes, all those fixings you have for hamburgers, um, eggs, bacon, all the stuff that you need for breakfast. I mean, milk, orange juice, Prosecco, you know, all the things that are must haves when you're camping. Um, I'm just kidding about the Prosecco, you guys. You should not give your kids mimosas for breakfast. Um, Okay, so seriously, uh, you've got two solar panels up on top. This is your ZAMP controller. There's an app for your ZAMP. Uh, your one place, this is just where you're gonna be able to see all of your battery levels. Uh, you're gonna be able to see your connectivity. This is where we're gonna operate our slide. Um, now, one of the things I think is worth mentioning because a lot of times when you've got somebody who's new to RVing, they get into their RV and they go, oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? In order to operate the slide on this Winnebago, you're gonna have to have the chassis, you don't have to have the engine running, but you have to have it on not just an accessory on, like all the way on where all of the lights are on or the engine's running. And then you have to have the emergency brake engaged. And I'm gonna show you how to deploy that emergency brake. And I know it sounds silly, but Sprinter has a special release mechanism. So there's a lot of times where you might put that brake down all the way, but if you haven't held the button, the brake light won't turn off and the brake will stay engaged. So I'll show you how to actuate and deactuate that brake so that you can see how to operate the slide as well. Uh, now over here on the right, you'll notice we have so much kitchen space. This is the number one reason that this coach is so popular. This kitchen space is incredible. So not only do you have a true induction cooktop, you also have a propane cooktop. You have a ton of overhead storage. You have your inverter control right here as well. This is also important to talk about holding tank heater. So if you are going to be up there at first chair and you do have water on board in your coach, you do have a heater for your holding tanks. Um, I also love the fact that you've got this little glass shelf up here above the coach. So if you wanna put your hot mitts down there or any kind of, uh, any kind of apparatus to be able to grab a hot plate, you can do that right here. And then down below, look at all of this storage. It is incredible. Um, so for a lot of us that have gone out and gone camping, you know how hard it is to bring all of your pots and pans and the dishes that you need. This has got all of the room and this in combination with that pantry, you can fit your coffee pot, you can fit all of your coffee. You've got so much room for dishes. It's also convenient. And then on top of it, you even have your microwave oven. So this Greystone microwave, of course, completes the entire kitchen package. But what would you do without a paper towel dispenser? I mean, it, life wouldn't be right. You know, it'd go flopping all over the floor like mine does in my Superstar. Why can't Numar do this? It's so cool to have your paper towel dispenser back here, not to mention that you've got more connectivity. So USB ports up here, cable jacks, you've got your Blu-ray player, plenty of room here to store some of those DVDs if you want to go to Walmart and buy the $2.99 specials. Um, and then on top of it, you also have your uh, sound bar. So you can play your track lists up here. And then of course you've got your great insignia TV. Uh, this coach only has one television. So for those of you that are looking for five or six TVs, we have those as well. Um, for me, one is more than enough, uh, but it is really cool because sometimes it is raining and sometimes you're done playing Monopoly because you like your family and you don't want to have any more of those arguments. Um, 
No, I'm just kidding. Monopoly doesn't cause family feuds at all. No. Um, <laughs> okay, so another great feature on the 24D. I absolutely love this screen. And the reason I love it is because I like fresh air. When I'm camping, I am trying to get as much of that pine scent in my RV as humanly possible. So as you can see, I can set this up to open and it has a little latch settings or I can go all the way up and bring it back down. Now, when I bring it back down though, I can also lock it here. This little latch is not all the way in. So I'm actually getting fresh air into the coach. The rain is gonna go right down over the top of it. It's not gonna come into the interior. And then I can close either my nightshade or my day shade and have that beautiful fresh air circulating throughout the coach. On top of it, take a look at all of this counter space. And I wanted to show you, I love the way Winnebago uses these really cool, low impact environmental resources. So this bamboo cutting board covers your sink. As you can see, you have a dual basin, stainless steel sink with both spray and pour feature. So super, super nice there. But you can cover that up while you're going down the road or while you're just prepping for those burgers. And then take a look underneath here. I love these push to release knobs as well. I think that that's just an easy way to know that you're all locked up, but you've got your whole house water filter down here in so much room. And then this is just a cool little place to keep your cleaning supplies because your glass cleaner and any, like maybe your Lysol spray bottle, all those things can be right there. And of course we've already talked about, oh, up here you even have like this little shelf. I would totally put one of those baby bottle brushes in there. I don't like to use scrubbies, you guys. Um, I call it a scrubby holder, but I use those baby bottle uh, brushes because I don't like to have to touch the dirty sponge. I think it's nasty. Um, and those, I could fit two. I would be super happy. Okay, so kitchen area is vast. It's super convenient. We've covered that. We've covered our great booth dinette. Again, this table can go down and sit right here on this ledge. And you would also have a complete place uh, with that cushion that's in the back for another group of people to sleep. As I mentioned earlier, you can go ahead and just lock all these cabinets and know that nothing's going to come out because you can see that they're flush locked. I mean, it's just so smart. And then over here on the left, you'll see that we have even more connectivity of and underneath. And again, we have these great windows. So I know we've already covered this. So I'm not going to be redundant, but this is that same operation that you have on one side of the coach on the other. So if you want to keep them cracked while you're out during the day, you don't have to worry about anyone coming into the coach, but you can still have all of that fresh air circulating throughout the RV. Uh, now, I know we talked about this when I was up there. I'd love to show you also, though, that in the back, you've got another few 110 outlets as well as USB ports. If you do have littles, that are looking uh, to you know get some shut eye there's some nice curtains up there for them as well and i have this cover open and this cover closed so as you can see you can really get it nice and blacked out another nice feature in this coach this little ladder you just turn these guys sideways and you've got a great place to stow the ladder so it's out of your way and then i am going to show you how to go ahead and pull these slides in now for ease of entry i'm going to go ahead and pop this up and get it out of my way. As you can see, we did cut away the plastic covers. We do leave those on until you take delivery just so that your mattress doesn't get yicky. But um, I need to have that uh, this cover removed so I can fold it up. And the reason I wanted to fold that up is so you can see how easy it is to get into this coach area. Now, if you look at all of these little plastic covers here, they've all got a very unique form to them. One of the things to mention about Winnebago is, you know, when you have a Navion or, you know, a View or any of these other products that we make, there is a serial number for this chair. There is a serial number for this mattress. There's a serial number for this piece of plastic. And Winnebago can reconstruct any of these things. They have a really fantastic place called Stitchworks where there's a bunch of women in there with sewing machines. I honestly didn't see any men at Stitchworks. So if there is a guy down there, hi, I'm not trying to exclude you, but when I went back there, it was so fun to walk through this giggly group of women all in there, literally hand sewing all of this uh, furniture, hand sewing all of your couches. Um, 
And what's so neat about this product is Winnebago manufactures 75% of this vehicle so they can really control the process. And when I say control the process, it's not just about the furniture, but like these plastic molds, they heat a big piece of flat plastic up to about 100, uh, sorry, 400 degrees, and it melts over the mold. So instead of having to subcontract or go out and ask somebody to make something for them, Winnebago has an aluminum mill, they have a plastic area, they make their own water tanks. I mean, they can make these water tanks the most bizarre shapes. And the reason they can do that is because they make their own tanks. And so they'll put this uh, plastic powder into a form. They get that form hot. They roll it around until it creates a mold. And when they remove the mold, they've got that remaining piece of plastic and they can then submerge that underwater to make sure that it doesn't have any leaks. And what's so cool about that is they can actually keep this coach so that it's in 100 pounds of level from side to side. So you're not gonna have that tipping going down the road. You're already in this fantastic Mercedes-Benz chassis um, that has been road tested so many times um, by all of the people, whether they be painters or plumbers or just people with lots of kids. Um, but you've got this great Mercedes-Benz chassis, but then you're pairing it with a company that can really micromanage the construction of their products so that you have a really level and staid feeling going down the road. And they have test tracks all over Winnebago Industries where they actually go over ruts, over different levels of variations of bumps so they can make sure that you as the consumer aren't the person that's being the guinea pig. They've got a guy who's got his own building who tries to break these coaches, tries to destroy them before you have a chance to. That way they can remedy any issues in advance of you taking ownership. It's really quite a fantastic uh, manufacturer. So, and when I say manufacturer, they are not an assembly plant. They are not buying different components and then bringing them all together and creating a product. They are literally creating 75% of this product right there at Winnebago Industries. If you haven't been there, you really should, you owe, you owe yourself a trip because it is just awe inspiring. It absolutely made me a complete fan after all of my automotive experience to be able to go and watch so much, um, so much prowess in the manufacturing industry and being able to create a product like this. It was really overly, overwhelmingly positive. Okay, so back to this chassis. So we've got our steering wheel controls. Um, I was covering this with somebody who took delivery of a Rebel with me yesterday. It's really cool to talk about because over here you have a touch screen, right? So when you're looking down the road and you're trying to stay focused, you have all of these features like lane tracking packages and you know um, automatic cruise control, all those things that are right here in front of you. And you wanna kinda of stay focused with what's in front of you. Now I'm showing you right here, I don't have the coach started, but I have all these lights on because now the co coach is on. Um, so I could now engage my brake. Now you'll see if I want to release my brake and I just drop the button, the brake stays on. If I want to take the brake all the way off, I have to take it down and then push down with this button. Oh, I guess I have to have it turned on to show you how it turns off. But you actually have to hold this button in until you hit the floor and then you'll see that the brake light goes off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and re-engage that parking brake and then we're going to go ahead and bring this slide in and I'm going to come back and talk to you more about those navigational controls. So. What I was going to say is those navigational controls are so cool because you do have this fantastic Mercedes-Benz based touchscreen navigation system. It has multiple profiles, so you can actually set it. So you can either, either set it for different drivers. So, you know, yesterday I had Eric and Kathleen come in. I said, you know, Eric, you should make your own pri profile. Kathleen should make her own profile. She can go ahead and put her favorite radio stations in and the like. But you should also, if you have a favorite fishing spot that's maybe up in Grand Junction where all the radio stations are different, you can put GJ Fishing. You know, you can use these profiles to set radio stations for other places that you frequent often. Um, now, as you can see here, I have very easy access to get back into this bathroom. So if I need to be able to use or access the shower or the toilet on my, my drive, you absolutely can. Did I say access a shower on my drive? 100%. If you haven't thought about taking a shower uh, and getting on the road nice and early, you should because Jason likes to get up at six. I like to sleep in. And so when we get up in the morning, he can go ahead and start driving and I can go ahead and take a shower while we're on the road. 100% uh, optional, uh, especially when you can do all this walking through. This is why we didn't buy a fifth wheel, right? Okay, so back to this. So one of the things that's so nice about this is I'm actually able to control all of my 
controls for my center system here on my uh, steering wheel. So I'm not gonna have to necessarily look over here at the center console to control my phone, my navigation. I can do a lot of that here with voice control. I can hang up and dial my phone, but I can also access, uh, if I wanna go to the map, for instance, I can go over here, oops, and just push down and engage my map without actually having to come over here and look at the center of the coach. So this is a huge safety feature. And then this control here is the one that you have that controls your center console on the left-hand side. So you've got hands-free for your dash and hands-free for your glass center console. And as you can see, you've got these really nice, very easy to read gauges as well. But you can also set it up so it's telling you how fast you're going, what kind of, uh, fuel, what kind of fuel efficient you're, you're getting. You've got your lane tracking package right there. You also can set your cruise control. Uh, this is a distance-based cruise control called Distronic. Uh, somebody in one of our meetings the other day said, why is it called Distronic? And I was like, uh, because it's been Distronic since 2003 when Mercedes-Benz pioneered the technology and created one of the first cars that could drive itself. But not that I was like being snarky. I mean, it's just, it's really cool technology and Mercedes-Benz has been doing it for longer than anybody else. Um, they also have the patent for this door control. That's why you see this really sleek, uh, you know, power control for your door over here on the door. You have got you know, all of this stuff is patented by Mercedes-Benz. If you don't have Mercedes, you have to pay a lot of money to have it here. That's why you find it on the outside of the seat on a lot of the other SUVs and cars in the marketplace because Mercedes-Benz is the king of patents. Uh, power mirrors, power win windows, everything is one touch. I know this is crazy, but these little features are so cool. Automatic headlights as well. You also have fog lights. And then I love the way that you can get these uh, these little vents to go in any direction that you like. Another great feature is, is if you're looking at this, at this chassis and you wanna be able to go into reverse, you can push reverse and you can have your rear view camera come on or you can go into drive by just pushing all the way down or you can go into park. Um, but in, when you're in park, or you're in drive, you still have your rear view camera. So I can still see behind me in my mirror. This is really nice because honestly, I can't see out the back window. It's too small. And there's a lot of stuff in the way. So the fact that Mercedes-Benz has been able to integrate this for you is really cool. Um, another nice feature about this is that you have your climate control. I know it sounds like it, uh, overrated, but honestly, I have a superstar. And if I turn my heat on to high and I forget about it, it might be like 85 degrees in my cabin before it turns off. With this coach, I can go ahead and set it so it's thermostatically controlled to go off uh, at a particular temperature. And then I've got my manual, uh, I've got my manual fan control here, or I can just sit auto. So very, very nice aspect of this coach. Uh, completely different um, than a lot of the other manufacturers out there. And then the other thing that you're going to have in uh, this RV that you don't have in a lot of RVs, and I don't know if you've thought about this, is you don't have airbags in a lot of RVs. Um, a lot of those big freight letter chassis don't have airbags. So you've got a dual stage front impact airbag system on this coach, as well as something called Embrace. Embrace is a system that's satellite based. You link that up with Mercedes-Benz Embrace account. And if you push this button, they know that you're in the middle of an emergency and they can see a satellite beacon. So if you are one of those couples or those families that likes to get off the beaten path, this is a great feature to have. It also has a wrench button. So if you had a flat tire or you were out of gas, you could also push that wrench button and have uh, somebody come and rescue you again by satellite without having that cellular connection, which is a really important feature. I know no one has sunglasses this small, at least I don't, but my eyeglasses would fit in there. So little eyeglass control or holder, uh, plenty of room up here above. Now keep in mind all of the functionality that you're seeing in this coach and in this cab is because this is a work truck. So all of these little compartments and cubbies that you have up front here with your cup holders and then your USB, I'm sorry, US type C connects, all of those things that you have also this little place to put your uh, radar detector because yes, you could actually use one in this coach. This coach can go pretty zippy, pretty fast. Um, and this is the new four cylinder engine. So we'll cover that in a minute, but uh, all of these great little compartments and, and cabins that, or cabby things that you see in here are because you have, this is a work truck. I mean, this is a bona fide work truck that people use all the time to get out there to do all of their work. Um, to keep all their clipboards, all of their water bottles, is that's why you've got these big cup holders, so you can get that super-sized big gulp Slurpee on 7-Eleven for free. No, they don't give you a, a big one for free on 7-Eleven. They only give you a little tiny Slurpee for free on 7-Eleven, but 7-Eleven's awesome. Um, Slurpees are awesome, so that's kind of fun. 
Um, but anyway, so there's there's that in a nutshell. And again, you don't have to have this coach on. I know you couldn't hear it. Um, the Mercedes-Benz chassis is super quiet, but in order to be able to operate that slide, you have to have at least all of your lights engaged like that, have your parking brake deployed, and then you can turn it off. Um, the reason, again, that I mention this is because a lot of people are like, oh my God, am I gonna break it? <laughs> no, you're not gonna break it. But if you buy an RV from me, one of the best things I can offer to you is, first and foremost, we've got this guy named Wade Phoenix who does all of our orientations. He is fantastic. Um, the next thing I can offer to you is that we have a guy named Bill Habercorn, where after you've done your orientation with Wade, if you didn't have something videotaped or you forgot to write it down and you forget about it, we've got a guy named Bill who literally is like the encyclopedia of RVs. And he is employed 100%, 365 days a year to do nothing but answer questions for our clients. And he's real. He answers the phone. You can re He responds to text messages. Uh, he can really get you out of a sticky situation. And he could probably do it with his eyes closed from at home on a Sunday afternoon watching football because that is how well he knows these RVs. Another cool feature is I worked for Mercedes-Benz for about 12 years. So if you want someone who really understands the ins and outs of this navigation system, the phone system, how to integrate things, that's something else I can definitely help you out with. Uh, my first uh, RV was actually a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis that I built out myself. I didn't even know that was a thing. And if you look at the pictures, it's actually very much like a Rebel. So maybe they owe me copyrights on that 500,000 number of units that they've sold. Probably not. Jeff Gibbs said, I want my copyrights. Um, <laughs> copyrights, copyrights. All right, the other thing I wanted to offer to you though is that over here in this, this campground that you see past our video van, we have 50 amp and 30 amp service. So if you buy an RV from us, we don't just kick you out and say, hey, you know what? It's time for you to go. We have water station, we have a dump station, we have 50 amp, we have people here to help you. You can really get your sea legs on before you hit the road. And I think that that's something that's really, really nice. And then on top of it, we have four locations here in Colorado, but two of them, our fountain and our Grand Junction locations are great because you can come here to the mothership, pick up your RV from Frederick, Colorado, where I work, but then instead of hitting the open road and just going straight home, you can go down to Fountain and there's a KOA right next to our Fountain location and try your camping out. And if you have any issues or you forget how to do something, we're right across the street. You can just go visit us. Same thing goes for Grand Junction. So we can get you up and off the beaten path, but still be close to a service facility all within Colorado. Not to mention the fact that we've got Estes Park 45 minutes away if you wanted to come out here and go up and, you know, see, go to the Stanley and, and check out, you know, all the scary, spooky stuff that they have at that hotel camp, you know, at the Elk Meadow Lodge. And then if you have any issues, you can come right down the hill, 45 minute drive, and you're right here in our parking lot. We're here to help you. Um, so I love all that stuff. Um, again, these are swivel seats. I know I didn't show them to you today, but those little cushions in the back, when you turn this around, it would be pretty low. So those cushions are about four inches and it makes it so you're about the same height as your couch. Uh, now new for 2024, we've got a new screen door. I really like this back out shade. This is great. Um, it's easy to attach, it just slides in and locks in place. And then on top of it, you have this really nice ability to keep your screen door closed and have everything everything bug proofed uh, and then it will, it will keep your step in because you have a magnetic uh, indicator. So when I open that, you can see my step deploys. But I really like the fact that they've done that this year. We had a lot of issues um, with our previous screen door assembly. It kind of came across, it was nifty, but we had more issues with it than I think was worth it. Uh, now on our way out, I do want to talk about the Equalizer Smart Leveling Jack system. This coach does have that system. And of course, this is a fantastic system for anybody who's ever had uh, that headache that you get from sleeping with your head facing down because your campsite's not exactly level. Very simple solution. Oh shoot, look at Jody, our windscreen came in. So uh, a lot of people ask if we have a wind sensor on our, uh, on our awnings and we do. Now, just so you know, this Carefree Awning does have an app that you can use, and it probably will go back in. It's a little breezy today. It's not nearly as windy as it's been for the last few days uh, that we've been out uh, shooting videos. And in fact, on Monday's video, I had to shoot my video, the whole thing inside, because it was like, literally, I, I thought my house was gonna be in Kansas with Toto when I woke up. It was so windy. Um, but so this bounce sensor is what this is called. It's not actually testing to see how, like what, you know, what kind of knots you've got with the wind. It's just letting the coach know that the, um, the carefree awning is bouncing a little bit too much and it will automatically retract. But I wanted to show it to you today because this is a 16 foot awning. It's giving you so much um, 
coverage. And if it's a little drizzly and you're outside hanging out, you can put your Outlander fire pit uh, right out here. It's got a really nice quick connect for your um, for your propane tank. And then this is a, this is the Onan Quiet Gas L, uh, 3600 LP generator. So a lot of people ask me um, what's better. So if you are camping, um, you know, for a week, you're going to have plenty of propane on this unit for that week. You know, you get plenty of propane to run your gas generator, to be able to run your cooktop and to operate your heat. Uh, that when it becomes important to get a diesel generator is for those of you that are going to be out a little bit longer because it's running off of your diesel tank supply. Now, keep in mind, you only have a 26 gallon diesel tank. So in all honesty, having a propane based generator has a few benefits. And I'm sorry I'm leaving you, Jody, but I lost my clipboard. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, I need to make sure I have this because it has all my contact information on it. And you would not know, you would not believe how many people take a picture of their computer screens and that's how they call me. So, um, but anyway, so the quiet uh, diesel generator, or the quiet gas generator is known to be a little bit quieter. If you can notice that decibel count, probably shouldn't buy an RV. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it's, it's really not that big of a difference, but that is something that they boast of. But again, being that you only have a 26 gallon uh, fuel capacity on this coach, when you have a diesel integrated generator on like an eight kilowatt generator on like a Super C or a Ventana, you're running off of a hundred gallon fuel tank. It might make a little more sense. These LP generators, like I said, they're a little quieter and they aren't using your fuel supply from your RV, which is actually kind of a nice thing. Um, now in terms of storage, tons of room down here. This would very easily fit one of our paddle boards. You could definitely get your golf clubs in there. Uh, this exterior color that you're seeing is the glacier. I love the glacier. And then this is that window. It's just very slightly open. But as you can see, I can't actually pull it up. So I couldn't get in here, but I could have nice fresh air going through the coach throughout the day. Uh, again, we've already talked about the quick connect and the generator, but then uh, right above that, you'll see this is the Truma AquaGo system. Very important here to understand that when you see this, on is up and on is down and off is in the middle. So you can go either one of those directions. We have a lot of people are like, my trim is not working. Well, you just have to get it out of that middle position. Um, and it's not exactly uh, known as to why it has two on positions. I guess it's because they really want you to use it. I don't know. <laughs> Another great little compartment down here. Great place to keep your tackle boxes, maybe uh, some of your outdoor beach towels, things like that. Um, and then up here, nice little compartment to keep, I think foodstuffs, things like that. Maybe you could keep your cooler in here if you wanted to keep your drinks and beverages, you know, locked up because this has got a lock on it. So when you're gone for the day, you can lock up your drinks. Um, when we were in San Diego, I told my boyfriend, I said, I'm not really worried about them stealing our really crappy rented beach bikes, but I would definitely take this cooler full of beer if I was a guy in San Diego looking for a fun time. So we actually linked it to our, uh, <laughs> to our steps so that no one could run off with it. Rear ladder to go on top of your coach. No, you shouldn't put anything up there. You do have access if you wanna clean off your solar panels, you could do that. Again, there's two 100 watt panels. Really quick illumination on LED lights in the back. Uh, there's that camera system that's giving you that rear view uh, capability. Uh, we have a six pin connector down here with a 5,000 pound towing capacity. Again, I love this like light blue, kind of like a sea foamy gray color. This is just such a really pretty, um, glacier colored coach and it's a good name for it. You've got your 30, uh, 30 amp hug back here as well as your uh, Blackwater station. As you can see everything is very easy to connect. Very smart, very easy use and there is an outdoor shower out here so if you do want to clean off your kids or your dogs or your husband, all of that's right there. Um, and then your, your flush for your uh, black water tank is up here. I would definitely get a separate hose for that. Um, okay, so uh, as you can see here, we've got these really nice Alcoa rims. One of the big differences on this Mercedes-Benz chassis is that you have not only the nice safety features, um, you've got this great easy access, you've got lumbar support. Again, those are your, here's your door controls as you can see. Um, easy access into your fuel, which is right here. You're gonna fill the def under the hood, just so you know. But the other thing that's really nice about this is I have 800 and, um, let's see, do not exceed 883 pounds 
of uh, capacity. That's a lot of stuff. There's a few manufacturers out here. Um, I won't point people out or call them out on, on national YouTube or whatever you call this, but um, where by the time you put water in this coach, you're full. And this is not one of those coaches. Oh, by the way, this is a 30 gallon fuel, or sorry, 30 gallon fresh water capacity, 41 gray, 41 black. And then that Truma system makes it a tankless hot water heater. So unlimited hot water heater, no, no need to have a, uh, a, what was that water tank thing? I don't even know. We don't, we don't use those things. We just use these Trumas. Um, okay, so where did the world does this go? Jody, hold on, I know, don't tell me. Oh, I know where it goes, it goes right here. I knew I knew, I knew I knew. It's been a long time, folks. I haven't had to put Deflu in my sprinter for a minute now. I have a big old Super C, so I just stick the thing in the hole. Uh, but anyway, this is your great little, uh, def it goes right here, uh, little engine access compartment. As you can see, Mercedes-Benz is really good at this. They are really good at making something that's very easy for them to access. And I want you to know one of the best things about this, I hear people complain about making uh, service appointments. If you think about the way this coach is operated in the world, so in other words, there's a lot of people that are using these coaches for work and they have a kind of anticipated driving schedule. As long as you schedule your service appointments in advance, you can get any date that you want. You just gotta give them a few months in advance. Hey, we're gonna be going on this road trip to Florida. We're leaving from North Dakota in July. Make your appointment in like April or May and you will be able to get in and out of there because this coach, if it's down and it's a plumber's truck or an electrician's truck, it's costing them money. So this is a very easy coach to have great service experience with. All it takes is a little pre-planning. Now I did want to show you that if you needed to get up here for some reason to access your windshield wipers or to clean your windshield, it's so cool that you have this great step. Very, very nice feature that it's so accessible. And then up here you can see these cameras are going to be what's reading those uh, traffic signs for you. It's telling you, you know, um, what your speed limit is and such. And it's actually on the fly because it's reading the signs. Um, in Europe, speed limits fluctuate. So these camera systems are used because you don't have posted speed limits and hard signs. They're actually always reading the signs as they come across them. This coach will do that for you. If there's been a speed limit change that you weren't aware of, you're not gonna get a ticket in this coach because you weren't speeding. It'll be because you decided to go fast. <laughs> but uh, so these Alcoa rims, this beautiful chassis that you have with the Mercedes Benz, all of this is gonna give you a much better carriage uh, going down the road, much better capacity. Um, I didn't show you the telescopic steering wheel, but you do have that as well. And then back here underneath, again, really nice storage capacity. Um, this coach is 25 and a half feet long. It's about 11 feet tall. Um, it's got a 24 gallon uh, fuel capacity. Um, I think I said 26 earlier, that was inaccurate. Um, and it's got a 12 gallon LP container. That is a lot of LP. So for those of you that are looking to get into a coach that can get you on the road for two or three weeks very easily, this is the one to look at for sure. As you can see, there's no seams on this fiberglass cap. It's so nice, it's all one piece. There's your windows up top. And then when you get down here onto these steps, again, things that Winnebago makes, um, first of all, this is e-coated, so it's going to be much more rust resistant, but they are also able to do things like integrate these little latches here to attach your cooler to or your dog. You could definitely use a, like a bike latch to, to attach your cooler so no one could take off with your beer, unless they wanted to empty your cooler, I guess. Um, but these types of features and like, you know, just the, the, this overall solid feel that you get. Um, you know, from the things that Winnebago is able to manufacture and create for this coach, really make it a fantastic uh, RV that you, will give you dexterity to get into not only off-grid situations, but also park situations. Uh, this is a new 2024. Uh, this is the four-cylinder uh, Mercedes-Benz. It's 188 horsepower, 258 foot-pounds of torque, so very similar uh, performance as last year in our six-cylinder version. Big difference here is it's still rear wheel drive. For those of you that were looking to see whether or not this would come out in an all wheel drive coach, it's still rear wheel. So if you got a great deal on one of those six cylinders, you better get it because they're going quick. And uh, this is gonna be your new offering and really it's very similar from that front. Um, and the fuel efficiency is about the same as well. So 
Uh, Mercedes-Benz is really good at building lower leader sizes, high outputs, and of course for EPA regulations these days, that's what they're looking for. Uh, this is stock number 5N240230, again 5N240230. Um, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from Frederick, Colorado on a very sunny and beautiful Wednesday morning. Um, please feel free to reach out to me. Let me know how I can get you out on the road to the camping. And thank you so much for tuning in.